We've had a, a, a tradition in our world of miscalculating the impact of certain things. So let me give you a brief history of miscalculations over time. So this was said, uh, access to all this information is confusing and harmful due to the abundance of books. And this was certainly after the printing press. Somebody was really concerned about all these books. What are we going to do? We're never going to be able to handle this. Here's another one. It'll destroy memory, weaken the mind, relieving it of work that makes it strong. It's an inhuman thing. Let's go back even further. This was actually Socrates. He was worried about people learning how to read and write. He had concerns because you'll, you'll forget stuff. If, if you have to write it down, that's lazy. You should keep that all inside. You don't need these, this pen and paper business. That's, that's crazy. Here's another one. This, whatever that is, has too many shortcomings to be seriously considered as a means of communication. The device is inherently of no value to us. And we're actually talking here about the telephone. We don't need this thing. Can't work, right? Here's another one. Students today spend too much time on ink. They don't know how to use pen knife to sharpen a pencil. Pen and ink will never replace the pencil. These were teachers who thought this is never going to work. Um, here's a more recent one. There's no reason anyone would want this in their home. Any guesses? A computer. 1977, a guy that was in a technology company. Who's going to need this thing? Uh, and so, so this is just, I guess, to suggest that we don't always understand when a new technology comes what the impact is. And, and I like what Douglas Adams said here in, uh, in 1999, describing um, the way we think about technologies, that everything that's already in the world when you're born is just normal. So for most of our students, all that stuff I just talked about, that sound, they don't get it because they never knew anything before. This is normal. Then there's a few of us, some of our, our, our younger teachers, I suppose, and some of our younger parents might suggest that anything that gets invented between then and before you turn 30 is incredibly exciting, creative, and with any luck you get to make a career out of it. So yet there's this idea, wow, this new technology thing, this could be a thing, right? And then for those of us that go further back, anything that gets invented after your 30 is against the natural order of things. <laughs> it's the beginning of the end of civilization as we know it, and, uh, and again, it, it turns into be all right. And again, you can apply that to movies, rock music, word presses, mobile phones to figure out how old you are.